Hello again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for the evening. ATFP is deeply honored to welcome the National Security Advisor to President Obama, General James Jones. General Jones has just joined us after attending another function, so he is not wearing a black tie. <laughs> he lucked out. After graduating from Georgetown University's School of Foreign Service, General Jones embarked on a distinguished military career in the Marine Corps that spanned 40 years, and which saw him serve in Vietnam and in various command positions in the United States, Europe, and Japan. During his exceptional career, General Jones held some of the most prestigious and demanding commands, including as Commandant of the U.S. Marine Corps, Supreme Allied Commander Europe, and Commander of the United States European Command. I first came to know General Jones in his capacity as the State Department's Special Envoy of Middle East Regional Security, beginning in November of, 87, of 2007. Since our introduction, General Jones has graciously met with me on a number of occasions. I could not be more impressed with his profound grasp of the integral relationship between security, politics, and economic development, and his fairness in being able to see the perspectives and understand the requirements of both Israel and the Palestinians at the time when he was there. Beyond actively influencing US peace, U.S. peace process policy at the highest level, General Jones and his team worked with the Israeli and Palestinian officials at all levels to translate this integrated approach into a concrete success story that began in the crucial Palestinian city of Jenin. Since assuming office, President Obama has deemed resolving the Palestinian-Israel conflict absolutely crucial to our country's national interest, a position which he has recently reiterated in his General Assembly speech at the United Nations. In his remarks after receiving the 2009 Nobel Peace Prize regarding the commitment of the United States to resolving international conflicts, the President stated the following. This effort must include an unwavering commitment that finally realizes the rights of all Israelis and Palestinians and to live in peace and security in nations of their own." End of quote. We at ATFP are encouraged that the goals of our organization and the views of the Obama administration are in harmony. We have confidence that the remarkable public servants, experts, and professional, professionals that President Obama has put together in this national security and foreign policy team can and will produce significant results. Results that are good for the people of Palestine, good for the people of Israel, and above all, good for the people of the United States. Our country is exceptionally fortunate to have the benefit of General Jones' wisdom, experience, detailed knowledge of the region, and sensitivity to the nuances of policy and key personalities. ATFP is deeply honored to host a man of his stature. As a national security advisor, security is his middle name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in the honor and pleasure of welcoming as our keynote speaker this evening, the National Security Advisor to the President of the United States, General James Logan Jones, Jr. <laughs> 